Hey guys, this is number 10 and it's um, Who Comes. This was given on 11, 17, 23. Who comes to me? The humble. All who realize their need. A person can be kind in heart, but lonely and sad without me. A person can be a treacherous soul and have been in bitter rebellion toward me. But I say, come all. The past is of little value if a person is repentant in heart. Today is a new day forward for each person that stops, evaluates their choices, and then chooses me. I forgive the past from the person who chooses me through my son, Jesus Christ, the Messiah. I can take your past and change you radically like Paul. I can use your changes as a testimony to my love, power, and ability to transform and purify lives through my Holy Spirit. If you do not know what or who the Holy Spirit is, it is my spirit, a gift for my people to guide them and teach them. The Holy Spirit helps mine understand scripture and spurs a person on to be wholly different how they were designed to be without the effects of sin altering their countenance. The Holy Spirit in the older days was simply called the Spirit of God. He is not to be feared. He is peaceful and kind and leads with love. The Holy Spirit also convicts the ungodly of their sin. That little feeling where a person suddenly knows what they are doing, they should not do. The Holy Spirit draws the sinful man into what people call conviction. This is the knowledge in the Spirit that Jesus is the true Messiah and that they should act on finding out more. The adversary tries to distract humans and keep them from accepting the truth of Christ and becoming obedient in following Jesus. When you sense it is true, that first yes, Jesus is Messiah. Act immediately, confess he is Lord, repent and stop sinning, be baptized, read your Bible and pray every day to learn more. Invite others to become Christians. Do not let the adversary tear you from the truth. The end for those that follow the adversary is eternal fire and torture. He tries to lead people away by getting them to want to fit in with others and be compliant with what he wishes, which is rebellion toward me. The adversary is the father of lies, the father of murder, and the father of deceit. Do not follow him or any that follow his paths. Seek truth, love, and joy. These are found in fellowship with me and with my son Jesus. Begin by reading the books in the Bible with red letters. You will learn quickly who Jesus is and who I am simultaneously. Read a paper Bible. Get your own if possible. Read it as much as possible. Pray and ask me and I will help you to understand its words properly with my Holy Spirit. The prudent, the wise, the humble. This is who comes to me. The disciplined, these that pursue my words and wisdom and the covenant. These will be fulfilled and gain the wisdom that brings them to eternal life in heaven forever. Come. Bring me your humble heart. Cast your cares onto me. I will love you and forgive you if you come to me and choose to obey. Imagine the God of the universe as close as a father or friend. Come. There are many more verses that go with this one. Here is the list of them. John 16, 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. 1 John 2, 27. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you. But as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. Galatians five sixteen through 18. I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. 1 Corinthians fifteen two through 8. 
By this gospel you are saved if you hold firmly to the word I preached to you. Otherwise, you have believed in vain. For what I received, I passed on to you as of first importance that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom were still living through, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last he appeared to me as one of untimely birth. Romans 10, 8 through 10. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead, that you will be saved. For with your heart you believe and are justified, and with your mouth you confess and are saved. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said to them, Repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Romans 6, 3 through 5. Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Jesus was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Romans 12, 1 to 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And then 2 Corinthians 5.17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's it for this one, and I'll see you next time.